Hello my friends and welcome back to our Let's Play Valkyrie Profile Lenin for the PS5. My name is Fuzz Brothers, this is Rivers here chilling today. Well today we gotta go before we uh conclude this chapter. I, I did go back and check my recording. And I did not visit the towns for some reason, which I mean it, I kinda got in a rhythm there of recruiting character going back in the town, spiritual concentration, recruiting character go back to town, spiritual concentration. But apparently I'm not in a rhythm because, yeah, I just forgot to do it. Uh, hey there, how you doing? Can I talk to you? How odd, a traveler from overseas. Highline has become a peaceful place. I mean, compared to how things used to be with Merfolk. Merfolk? Huh. Interesting. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. So we're gonna start by going to three towns and we're going to fire someone off. Would you like a room? I wonder if it's true that the demon army is closing in on Hylan. The war in the east shows no sign of ending. But the rumors about the demon army continue. So, threat of a demon army. I mean, we saw the ogre here, right? Well, the ogre, uh, the, the one that the, uh, the guy went to fight. As long as we have Lady Shiho to protect us, this land has little to fear from its enemies. kind of hard to talk to people sometimes. No matter how much glory the war brings, it won't bring my son back to me. I have to be like at the perfect spot to uh, to click on them. Oh, the music just died here. Okay. I'm assuming that's a spot for a future character because that definitely looks like something different. Can't go in the shrine. Yeah, I can't go in the shrine. And I've been... I've been everywhere else. Okay, so there is nothing in Hylon for us to do. I thought every single character had some sort of um, post-death interaction, but I guess not. Uh, Carabellum? No, we need to go to Artolia. And Krellmon Frain. So let's dive back into Artolia where we found Lawfer. Cashel, what should we do? It's a request from Lawfer. Of course we'll accept. Okay, so they're saying the both same thing. The other day, I opened up a church chest. Some, yeah, poison gas. We know about the poison gas. So they're a part of the uh, the law for storyline here, but nothing specifically is happening. All we can do now is pray. If the Vilno army comes this way, the whole town will be wiped out. Princess Jelanda, even now, I still can't believe she's dead. Lately, many ill omen things have been happening in Artolia. Good day. I don't think there's anything here either. There's a very real chance that y'all may never see this because I may cut this out. There's absolutely nothing that I find new. Because, yeah, I don't know everything. I don't know exactly what to do and what order and how to do it. It's just one of those things. I kind of invisible oh, man, yes. I'm very kind. Uh, let's see. This is Angram's place, I believe.
Did I never go back and visit Arngrims? My father gave it to me years ago. You're welcome to use it. Got a Dragon Slayer? How, how did I never get that before? I'm assuming it's a sword. That probably breaks. Yep. 5% break chance. We're good against dragons. It's really, really bad luck that the, uh, the flare base lard broke after one use. I mean, come on. One use? Are you kidding me? One use? Ah, ah, oh, that just makes me... That makes me, like, so salty right there. I mean, that's that's why I don't like using percentage items or weapons, because I, I have really, really bad luck. And... Yeah, yep, 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 I have bad luck. Uh, Alright, we're here at Kelmon Frame. Which is where we got, um... Janus and... Belius? Belias? I was... Belarus? I always forget his name. Sorry, I think I just called him a country's name. I was report that something was going on here. Is that you? Hey, I don't like the feel of this. Let's get out of here. I, I did do nothing. Apparently something's going down here. A lotus flower is a symbol of man's hope. Yes, flowers and hope both wither with the passing of time. Here's Janus's home. It's kind of strange that I didn't find anything with June, though. When I said farewell to Nighthood, I sealed her away so that she would never again be used. Raven Slayer? It's a bow? Again, 5% chance of breaking. Crowd power against birds. Well, that's mean. What are the birdies? Are? Well, actually, there's a bunch of evil birdies, so never mind. I take that back. <laughs> Pretty sure there's nothing else here since we just found that relic. And I have decided who I'm going to transfer up, and I have reasons why I'm deciding on this particular person, which I'll get to in about... Couple minutes. Let me just finish exploring the rest of the town here. Here's a uh, million. Amelia. She seems content to know that Lillawallen is. that she's provided for Lillawallen. Anything up here? Can't go in there. You're not gonna ask me the same question again, are you? Yes, you are. Okay, well, I, I went back and double checked all the areas to see if anything was new and uh i found only two items which is a little bit of a shame but yeah that happens okay so let's go to let's talk about who i'm sending up i am sending up lawfer and the reason i'm sending up lawfer is because i like the guy like seriously i like lawfer a lot i think he's a really cool character Okay, that seems weird. You like him a lot, so you set him up. Well, here's the thing. I don't know if I like June. Because even though I love his special move, he's only had one attack. And I don't know what his other attacks do. So I may like June more than I like Lawfer. So if I set up June without ever fully testing him out, I'm going to feel really bad about that. And as far as Arngrim, can't send Arngrim. Uh, Jolanda, she's... Not a warrior. The Wallen's an archer. I don't know if that counts as a warrior, but he's an archer. Plus, his hero value is too low. And uh, Janus is an archer. Again, not a warrior. So, here's why. Here's why I'm sending up Lawfer. Now, before we send up Lawfer, we need to properly equip him. I'm going to give him the short spear here. Um, it's 5% breakage point. It's got huge attack. Uh, I don't think it'll break in, um, in Asgard. And I want to keep the spinning spear because it adds additional capacity points when leveling, which makes all spear users really good. And can I make a spinning spear? Oh, I can make it. Yeah, but it's 2,500. That's a lot of money, okay? That is a whole lot of money. Uh, so I don't really want to spend 2,500 to get another spinning spear. Um, so I'm going to de-equip him of that. I'm going to make sure otherwise he's as 
fully equipped as I want him to be. Yeah, um, Lawfer, I must say that your talents are really, really awesome, and I like you a lot, and I, I hope you represent me well. Uh, I need tactics. Leadership. And identify. Alright, um, what do we do with the rest of them? I have no idea. I have, I have no idea the best way to level him up besides that. Uh, I'm gonna give him combo counter. Counter. Also give him, um... Some fight. Uh, maybe... Survival. Uh, March. Formation. Um, I want some monster knowledge. There. Okay. Yep. That's what we're going to be setting up. Uh, he's kind of wounded though. So let's just keep forgetting that's not the start button. Um, let's just go ahead and recover all DME. That way he's at full life when we send him up. And uh, let's make sure Valkyrie has a nibbling ring on. She does. And we'll go ahead and transfer Lawfer up. Fight strong, my friend. You've done me well in battle so far. Continue the fight. That one hurt a little. Losing character is just... Oh, he's such a good character. I, I'm... Oh, yeah. That one hurt a little. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and rest every other time now to begin the sacred phase. I don't really feel the need to grind extra in any dungeon at the end of the chapter here. So I have no problem just going to the next chapter. Chapter 2-3. It has been a long time, Lenneth. Our current situation is as follows. Is it good? Asgard War status. Okay, um, so the veneer have taken a hit and we've gotten a little bit stronger. Our current situation is the enemy is fighting ferociously. We must take care. Do you wish to know the status of our Unherjal? Absolutely, this is like my favorite part now. You wish to know his status? Yeah, how is Lawfer doing? Bellinus! That's his name, Bellinus. I'm sorry, I always got that messed up. Wow. He is a. He's a rank 15 god, his second platoon, his evaluation went up plus 89. Dang. Although, unfortunately, he's got a couple negatives here. That's sad. But he did uh, get a ton of positives and play a major role in the first attack. I'll, I'll start from the bottom up. This guy was a wounded soldier. Probably could have helped if I had first aid, maybe. Well, you've got it under control now. Huh? Lawfer's unit attacked the veneer base and successfully brought it under control. While investigating a nearby forest, he notices a person hiding in the shadow of a tree. Is somebody there? Uh, a veneer, badly wounded. Go, go ahead, kill me. Oh, the dots. Run. Huh? I cannot draw my sword on a defenseless person. Hurry, run before someone else comes. You are merciful. I think that will be your death someday. Perhaps. If fate desires. Now hurry and run. Okay, so that's why he got a uh, negative five because he was merciful. Which again, kind of shows you like how the game needs you to play against the the, you know, what this story tells you to do. Pursuit of the Spies. Elvia Plains, 2nd Platoon. 
Enemy spies infiltrate Valhalla and run off with important information. Oh, that's it? Oh, wow. That was a quick line of text. Normally, I'm struggling to keep up. We have allowed enemy spies to infiltrate us. They have stolen secret information as well as several artifacts. Go to the Elvia Plains and follow them. Destroy the enemy units to prevent them handing over this information and retrieve the artifacts. The Venus spies infiltrated a few hours ago. If you stop pursuing them now, you'll catch up to them near Gorgon Falls. The soul artifacts are absolutely vital to our future war strategy. They have also stolen valuable data, files of the Aesir in their bases. You must retrieve them. Have a speedy Einherjar take the shortcut through the mountains. It is a dangerous path, but it will save much time. Attack the enemy from two sides. Break two more. Destroy the enemy spies and recover the soul and artifacts. Good job, Lava. And interrogation of prisoner. Was it Mercy again that held us back? What's that? R. Ugh. Warriors captured by the enemy are subject to many kinds of interrogation. Warriors fought in Asgard are no different. Even here, a veneer prisoner is tortured by Yasir's soldiers. Lawford can't stand it and tries to stop them. Yeah, it's Mercy. Stop that right now. Lawfer. You cannot treat a helpless person so. Is that truly how God should behave? You are so naive, Lawfer. To defeat the Veneer, we do what we must. Oh, the dots. This is war. You understand? Yes, I understand that. However, I will not sit idly by and witness such cruelty. Fine, then. Do as you like. Hmm. Raise the objection to the method used and stops it, but fails to gather information. Uh, patrol of Valhalla Palace and Environs. Report of experiment use of artifacts. Cool. I, I think you're doing a really good job, Lawfar. Continue the good work. Do you wish to know the status of our Anhelia? Yeah, I want to check out our other guy, uh, Belenus here. You wish to know his status? Uh, he's rank 12 now. Return to Valhalla. Special training. Inspection of Rural Cave. Carefully check the planes and activities were recognized. Major goal and precious attack. Felonis. Your exploits of late has astonished me. Uh, thank you, my lord. I shall try to live up to your hopes. Good. I expect much of you indeed. Uh, carefully check in the planes. Felonis is entrusted with a special task. Well, it's a very simple task. Felonis investigates thoroughly and confirms the plan. I have to make doubly sure. One cannot be too careful. Do something prudently. Oh, that's that's nice. Battle of the Wilderness. Is this gonna be different than the other? Castle Wasteland, first platoon. On the way back to Valhalla, first platoon was in the Castle of Waste when it spotted a single enemy on patrol. An enemy patrol, and just a few of them. We can't let them escape with information. We've got to crush them here. I want you to ambush them. Hurry and make preparations. Destroyed veneer patrol unit. Okay. So our guys are doing really well so far. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm very pleased. Do you wish to know the status of our Unharyar? Nope, we're good now. Lenneth, about your performance. Is it awesome? It is magnificent. It is. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. Uh, wow, 6,840. That's... Decent, I guess. The Lord Odin is pleased with you. He bids me give you these artifacts. 
Uh, Elemental Scepter again. Lightning Bolt. Shadow Servant. Splash. Heal. Throw. Extreme Guard. Emerald Necklace. Oh, we got another Emerald Necklace. Lenin, I have a request to make of you. We need archers. Okay, hold on. Um, Archer. Find Trap. And Survival. I mean, that, that would look good for Janus, I guess. Someone who can strike from a distance. We need an Einherjar who can gather intelligence. Send us an Einherjar skilled at reconnaissance. May fate guide your hand. I pray for your good fortune. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I could send Janus here. By the way, I don't know if our skills cap at 999. I probably should check this. Uh, you have 544. Yeah, 689. I should probably just check to see if that's a thing or not. Uh, we have... Why do we have a boa? Um, we have a boa because we needed a lightning attack. That's right. Okay, let's use item here. Uh, we have throw. Heal. Splash. And those are spells. Oh, wow. We got, actually got an item that increases your CP. That's really cool. Uh, let's see. Equipment. Uh, I'm gonna take off the emerald necklace. Yeah. Probably. Uh, she has a long way to go. And... Check out a divine item, see what's new. Uh, we have two new swords. A Walloon sword, equipped with a large knuckle guard, and strength is weird the defense. And we have the Kolik Kamard. Or the Kolish Shamard. I uh, type a narrow bladed rapier. We got a new uh, samurai weapon, a three foot long sword with a long sweeping curve. Again, I'm short on combos. Oh, hello. Here's one. A unique sword with seven smaller blades starting out of the main blade with like branches on a tree. And the Nodachi. Uh, but the seventh sword here has two attacks. So I definitely want to pick that up. Uh, striking swords, Y hander, not bad. Uh, Born and by Corsica. Uh, new crossbows. Does sacrifice power for speed. But again, not three attacks yet. Got a new wand. I don't know why you'd want that over the uh, Holy Prayer, though. I mean, these seem to be the... Uh, Oh, we have a Ghost Shirai Blade. Which one's stronger, though? It's attack 50. It also reduces special with their attack CT by 1. Okay, so that's 40-40. And the seventh sword was 20-40. Yeah, um, I don't know why I didn't buy this last chapter. I guess maybe I was short on material points, but that's definitely better. Raise special attack damage by 30%. That is amazing. That is really, really good, but we don't have a great sword user. Um, I could give this to Lenneth. Because I really like having her as a bow user. I, I think she gives me more to the table. Um, well, let's go figure out who our new party members are before we do anything else. Cashel, we know that name. It's a miracle. They left this one intact. Behold thee, grand sting. Orbs from the very brilliance of the blue sky. By its power, the absolute evil of these grounds is contained. But that doesn't mean we should just throw our lives away. Come on out! Show your face! <laughs> You're not the only one who's sad, but you have to be strong. I can't stand to hear kids cry. Yeah, I know that feeling. I can't stand to hear cry kids cry either. Camille Village. Well, we've been there before. That is sure. Like I said, I I, I know, I've heard that name, Cash, uh, Cashel. Uh, we uh we saw his name appear in um in um. 
Well, we, we, we came by here. When we went, uh, back to the town. Oh my god. What the... Medusa? Are there Medusa in, uh, Norse mythology? Pretty sure there has to be, right? But just because something's Greek doesn't mean it can also be Norse. Cilia, this is awful. This is not all like words said. This is tragic. A basilisk, a cockatrice, or a gorgon. This seems a bit more than any of those beasts could handle. I haven't think about a gorgon. Well, Medusa is a gorgon, so. Only the people were petrified. Nothing else. And there isn't a single person that hasn't been shattered. That's proof that whatever did this is no mere beast. It had intellect. Well, the person on the bottom of the screen here looks like her head has been removed. And so is the guy on the top. But not shattered, which means it was deliberate. Yeah, I can see what he's saying here. Medusa. Yeah, that, that was my first guess. Probably. This is bad. Yeah, 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 that's for sure. Anyway, uh, let's look for survivors. Right. He's always said that anyone left alive is worth a thousand oath. The bastard. They're using a sword as a deadbolt. It's like he's got a massive sword on his back there. This blade. Hey, can you read this writing? Yeah, I remember seeing these two, but I don't think it was in this village. It was somewhere else. These are ancient runes. Goodness. They're carved up the entire length of the blade. Behold the grand sting pours from the very brilliance of the blue sky. By its power, the absolute evil of these grounds is contained. And we just removed it. Uh, absolute evil? It's a miracle. They left this one intact. Cashel, bring me the potion. So, that's what happened. Huh? This kid released the evil. She was probably just playing around. Don't you think it's odd finding a little girl here? Uh. Anyway, there's no need to petrify her right now. I can't stand to hear kids cry. I guess you're right. Maybe we should heal her once we're outside town. Uh-oh. I plan to awaken that girl. A hundred years hence. As a reward for releasing me. Wouldn't that have been a pleasant? Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger, danger! You bastard! Come on out and show me your face! Vile creature, does it please you to perform acts of good strategy in ill? Obscuring your true intentions only makes it that much more hateful. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who was that? Uh, uh, what was that? Where did you come from? You're not a Medusa? The file, yes? The file, I've got to protect it. 
Catch it! Catch it! It just stopped? This is what is most important to you? A similar life of a child is most important. A Valkyrie? I'm not sure. I was so obsessed with it. All I can say is, I guess it was. You have earned the right to live. To live? Yes, the right to life. It's okay. What happened to the monster? It didn't break. Another miracle? I don't know if that's a miracle. The fact that he had a... Kesha. See? You're not the only one who's sad. Oh. you have to be strong. Kesha will only grieve if you cry. Oh. Give his life to save the child. Is there any better hero? All right, let's uh let's head back in before I forget. Attached to Artolia, Camille is in disarray, constantly coming embroiled in the wars of neighbors. Their history shows how often they have been trampled underfoot. I don't think I've read that first time. I really should. Oh man, the horrors. Graveyard. The few who survived are hiding in the church. The sword over there. Must be his grave. This village, we're finished. I never thought this would happen. Dang it. Mother. This is- this is my sword. Did Celia do it? It appears so. Even if I carry this, I won't be punished. Kind of Bane Slayer. Surprised I didn't get June's relic though. That kind of does bother me. Quite a lot. We still have June in our party, so it's not like I can't go back and double check later. It's just. Um. Excuse me? There's a dungeon down here? I mean, I I, I should have expected there. I I, I. I didn't expect a dungeon down there! I should expect that there was something in the, um. In that area, but I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we have our first dungeon and our first character. Should probably write that down. Camille, hold on. Camille, uh, Odd Rock, Caves, Caverns, whatever. That way I don't forget about it. It's hard to forget about uh, dungeons that are on the map, you know what I mean? They're big, shiny, bright things. And by the way, there is actually a bunch of stuff on the map that you can explore, but we're not going to go to those places just yet for reasons I'll talk about later. All right, next up. Minayo, please grant me strength. I thought my anger and sadness were greater than anyone else's. What can one do when one loses what matters most? 
This is all I can do. This is all I can do. Where are we heading? Hylon? Yep, back to Hylon. Well, this gives me a chance to uh, double check Hylon again, which is good. So let's head on down there. Are we right about it? We know what this place is like. Let's dive in. Nanami, are you feeling better? Yes. Thank you, Father. I am unworthy of your concern. I'm glad you are well, Nanami. But please take it easy today. But I cannot. I must go to the shrine for the ascension ceremony. It is my duty, my destiny, to inhabit, inherit the power. Uh. This time, things will go smoothly. I will give you no further cause to worry, honored father. This time, things will go smoothly. I should say this time. Minayo, please grant me strength. For the sake of your parents who raised me, I wish to prove myself worthy of the power that should rightfully have been yours. So, basically, the foster parents had a daughter and she died, and now she's trying to trying to please her foster parents by inheriting the original girl's power? Am I reading that correctly? Did Nanami go already? Yes. Why did you let her go? Surely you have forgotten what misfortune will befall her as she proceeds with the ascension ceremony. It'll be a disaster. A girl who is not of our blood cannot hope to ascend to such power. She may not be of our blood, but we've always thought of her as a real daughter. Exactly. Blood isn't everything, my friends. It, it really isn't. I know. But now we have to face the truth. It's just so cruel. The ritual of ascension requires me to be a direct descendant in order to inherit the power. But is blood really that important? What can one do when one loses what matters most? But I won't fail. I will inherit their power and prove that there's something more important. I don't like her chances here. I mean, blood isn't isn't anything to me, but at the same time, I'm not I'm not her gods or ancestors, and unfortunately, some of them. When I read like mythologies, it blood matters a lot. In the old classics. Is that... Is that the sacred sword dragon bane? Come on, defy. Did it work? She's still alive? Just got the sword. Oh. Aww. None of me. Ah. What was that light? Hello? Ghost. Girl? Minayo? Is that you, Minayo? She possessing her? Killing her? Oh, nice job, Valkyrie. 
Sorrowful spirit, death has brought you no peace. But with my hand. Please stop. I cannot ignore this. If I do not intervene, her spirit will unleash great tragedy upon you. No, this ends now. Human, surely you do not intend to take her place. I really don't want to. I don't want to die. But I thought my anger and sadness were greater than anyone else's. No, that's not it. It's that her anguish hurts me more, even more than it hurts her. Truly, this is all I can do. Then it is you I shall be seeing soon. Seeing soon? That's right. I had forgotten about your duty, noble Valkyrie. Thank you. There is more than one path. Let us go. Oh, well, that's a tragic story. So the anatomy that went back to him, that's not anatomy, that's Manaya? Oh, that's sad. Oh. oh, that was really sad. Oh. Oh, man. So once again, we're back here. Check around. We've already talked to a bunch of these people, though. So... If I can talk to them, like I said, you have to be at, like, just the right spot to talk to people for some weird reason. By the way, I, I know I said this before, but I love the Valkyrie sprite here. When she's without her armor, it's just, like, looks like a normal... A normal woman? You know, like, a nobleman. Actually, or a noble woman. She just looks amazing. She's lost the sun, too. Wow, look at that light come in from the left. Again, nothing. Oh, hello. Honored parents, please accept this. God, Dragon Bane. We got Nanami's relic. I will never forget what you did for me, Nanami. I pray for your safe travels. Oh. oh life for life. So I guess June's relic may be in a different town or something? Possible. Okay, where we're going next. Is it gonna be the cave? Or is this an actual dungeon? Clockwork Mansion. Sounds like an actual dungeon. Do you know what a lapis is? Yes, but this isn't a normal one. It's special. Do you think I'm silly? No. Thanks for the encouragement. Fuyuki, if you found the Cerulean Lapis, what would you wish for? I was such a fool. Lapis! Grant my heart's desire! Goodbye, Fuyuki. I'm sorry I lied to you. Oh, there was a lot going on there. A lot of different voices. Are we heading, we're heading right back to Hylon? Look at that. Well, we don't gotta go far. <laughs> we're in the same exact spot. Is 
like we have a shipyard here. Oh, hello. Got a merfolk. I hope this isn't a bad idea. I like, I like, oh, look at that design. I love her green eyes and her green, and her flipper or mermaid tail. Why is it though? And I noticed this on some games. I've talked about this before on uh, other playthroughs. Why is it a character sprite doesn't always match the character representation of their picture? Because here, it surely looks like she has green hair on the right. But on the left, she doesn't have green hair, she has brown hair. Why is that? I mean, is the brown supposed to be like green tinted? I think the best example I give this is uh, Final Fantasy IV. And Final Fantasy IV, Cecil um, has like rainbow hair when he's a paladin, but also white hair. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's, I don't understand it sometimes. But how do I know it's a white ship? Uh, this is pointless. We're not gonna catch anything today. The Bonito are a bit late this year. What's a Bonito? Do not know. What's wrong? Dad, did you just hear someone yell? What? You're in the middle of the ocean? Listen, there it is again. Why is she crying for help? What? Is this the one going to respond to my cries? Was that a ghost ship only skeletons ride? What is she doing? Now she's got legs. Are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. You surprised me, kid. What are you doing out there? You could have drowned. My ship, it sank. Sank? What happened to the others? Where are the other survivors? I don't know. Uh. So, what's your name? Uh, you may. Is it you may or you may I? It means dream. I'm just gonna go with. Uh, should I go with you me? You me. You may. You may. You me. I'm gonna go with Yumi. Yumi, it means dream. Fuki, why are you so quiet? Huh? Oh, uh, I just, um, uh, well, she's a. Uh, uh, um, yeah, well, anyway, it looks like we won't catch anything today. So, shouldn't we, uh, head back to board? Hmm, yes, probably right about that. Do you know what, do you know what a lapis is? A lapis? I mean a lapis lazuli? The gemstone? That's right, but this isn't a normal one. It's special. Ah, uh, you mean the cerulean lapis? Yeah, I know about it. Any sailor with the salt does. So it's true that it grants wishes? If only I could find one. Ha, uh, I hate to break it to you, girly. But it don't really exist. Just an old wives' tale. Uh. Sorry, Lassie. Didn't mean to upset you. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. The Cerulean Lapis is a myth? But if that's true... What was that? You don't know? It's the Ozi. O Ooz O O O The O Uzi O Uzu The O Uzu Thank you, Yummy. Yummy? Yumi. Yumi. Thank you, Yumi. When the cards shift, uh we the sea can turn into a giant whirlpool. The trouble you felt was just a ship changing course. There's just nothing to worry about. I believe in this really lapis. Huh? I heard you talking to my father. Father is growing old and he's lost the uh, ability to hope and dream. But I still believe the lapis is real. Do you think I'm silly? 
No. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to believe in it too. That's good. Because you'll never find it if you don't believe in it. Fuyuki, if you found this really lapis, what would you wish for? Um, well, our ship is in pretty bad shape, so I guess I'll wish for a new one. The finest one in all of Hylan. Hylan, sorry. What about you? Me? Uh, oh, well, uh, I haven't really thought about it. I see. Miss, you asked us to take you to this town. But now you say you have nowhere to go. I'm sorry to nag, but may I ask why you want to come here? Honestly, I wasn't trying to hide anything. I came here to see my father. Your father? Uh, that's right. What's his name? Ko. Ryu Ko. Ko? You don't mean Shogun Ko? You know him? Uh, everyone knows the Shogun Ko and his family. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but are you the child of one of his mistresses? I only ask because, well, I assume that any family member would have known that Shogun Ko is dead. Oh. Do you know of the war between Hylan and the Merfolk? It ended only a few years ago. Shogun Ko was commanding the navy against the Merfolk. In the midst of a battle, he fell overboard. There was no time to save him, and everyone assumed he had drowned. But miraculously, he later washed ashore alive and well. He was a changed man after that. The Shogun worked tirelessly to make peace with the Merfolk and end the war. He was a war hero who would become a legendary peacemaker. But his efforts took their toll, and he succumbed to illness a few years ago. The whole nation mourned his passing. He was a great man. So the reason she wanted the lapis was so she could see her father. Why did Yumi lie to me? Well, because you were going on about just wanting a ship. Oh, do we got little one? No. That's not her when she was little. That's just her in a different position. I'm sorry, Yumi, but I couldn't find anyone by the name of Ko. Oh, thank you for trying. Oh, it was no problem. I, I like to help any way I can. Well, there's no point in searching anymore. Why not? Don't you want to see your father? Don't give up. The Lapis, I know it's real. Uh, you you said you'd try to believe in it. There is no civilian Lapis. What? But Yumi. There is no Lapis, and my father is dead. Yumi. It doesn't matter anymore. Please, just leave me alone. Wait, where are you going? Yumi. Dang it, she's fast. Is that the direction of the shore? Surely she doesn't intend to kill herself. That noise. It's the Ozu. Yumi? Wow. Guys. Man, that is a beautiful picture right there. Oh, I love green. I love green cyanic hair. I've talked about this before, but that is my favorite color. Whenever I play like a game and I can customize the character's uh, portrait, that hair color and style is exactly what I look for. So Yumi could be like my protagonist in my game and um, I'd be perfectly okay with that. Are you surprised? I'm not human. But again, you look at her sprite and you look at her character and they're, man, they're different, but they're both fascinating. I... I didn't. You should get away from the shore. The Uzu will be here soon. 
What about you? You wanted the Cerulean Lapis so you could see your father. <sighs> I'm kind of disappointed. It looks like you didn't trust me, when all I wanted to do was help you. That's why I searched the whole city for information about the Lapis. You're wrong. Huh? It's true that I want to see my father, but that isn't the thing that I sh would have wished for. Then why? My mother. She died recently. Ever since my mother bore me, the child of a human, she's been ostracized by the other merfolk. And when she died, no one mourned her. I couldn't cry. Whenever I want to cry, everyone would glare at me with those cold eyes. I just couldn't do it. It was more than just that. I didn't smile when I was happy. I didn't cry when I was sad. What I didn't realize was that I had given up on living entirely. I was such a fool. At the very least, I want to make my father cry. My wish for the Lapis would have been for my father and mother and me to have been able to live together as a family. But it's not fair. Now they get to be, get, get to, get to be together without me. You me. Please don't do this. Goodbye, Fuyuki. I'm sorry I lied to you. Oh. like all our stories today had to do with family. Well, two or three. Castle wasn't really, but... I could cry whenever I want to. It would just glare at me and I wouldn't be able to. But it was more than just that. I was such a fool. I was a fool too. Why didn't I stop her? What? What's this? When a cerulean gem is in a young man's palm. When two strangers have spoken their hearts. And when two hearts have connected as one. Then the legend has truly been reborn. The legend of the Cerulean Lapis. Fuyuki, if you found the Cerulean Lapis, what would you wish for? A splendid new ship? No. To be together? Should I wish for Yume's safety? That's it! But... What was it that Yume wished for? again. Oh. God, all these stories today are making me cry.
Because he loved her, he wishes for her death? His wish will be granted. I do not know if this girl will prove worthy of Valhalla. But as promised, they will be together. Aww. The sea did not calm. Yumi did not return. But the boy sat patiently and stared at the ocean. His wish was granted, but there was no proof of this. I believe in this really Lapis. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to believe in it too. That's good. Because you'll never find it if you don't believe in it. And so, Yuki decided to believe once again. To believe that Yumi was happy, together with her family, forevermore. It's a tragic story. Legend of the Lapis Gem. Oh! God. Once again, we'll head to Highland for the third time this episode. I could have saved a lot of peers by just waiting to do this all at the end, but... I assume I had to go to sea here. Fuyuki, I'm sorry. Who oh. found a fragment of a lapis gem? We got her relic now. Uh, fragment of crystal containing mermaid's tear. Ice damage minus. Oh, nice. Very nice. Extreme guard? That's that's an equipment. Thought that was an item skill. Counterattacks by shooting flames at enemies? That's cool. That's really cool. Alright, let's see uh, what else we need to do. Are there, um, we still have a cave of oblivion to open up, right? Uh yes, we still do. Cave of Oblivion. All the way off to the left there. Anything else? Alright, this would be a recruitment or... Or the end. Alright, so we have... Fully done everything here in... Whatever chapter one. Chapter three, right? Yeah, I believe it's chapter three. Let's look at a party here. First thing I want to do though is unequip. It's easy to re-equip someone. But I want to unequip just to make sure I know what the party's going to be. Okay, so we have... Cashel. Doesn't, I don't know what he uses yet. 
kind of hard to tell. Um, we have Yumi and Nanami. She had a sword. Uh, I need a mage. Let's put her here. And we'll check out these three. You're a mage. You're a great sword user. Very nice. And you're a mage. Okay, so we have two mages. That's, um... I mean, that's not bad. It's just... We could do a lot with two mages. It's just... Yeah. It's gonna be harder to do um, combos and stuff. You may have Stone Torch. And Frigid Damsel. I like Frigid Damsel. Yeah, Lightning Bolt and Fire Storm. I like Fire Storm, but... Because it pops enemies up. Well, we'll put Lightning Bolt on her, though. For now, since we haven't seen that. Not me. After both her parents died, she was adopted by a Shinto priest and chosen to inherit the, cho the shrine duties. Her upbringing has left her honest and self sacrificing, but also fatalistic and resigned to the vicissitudes of fate. Wow, what a word. This hero value is already at negative 29? Disdaining all profit and personal gain, he travels the land in search of adventure. He wields an enormous sword to prepare himself for the meeting with a certain person. He does not disdain those who fight for their ideals. Yumi, a maiden of the mermaid people, she is able to change form into whatever she desires. Whatever she desires, not whatever. She was raised to be wary of people, but always tries to appear che cheerful. Hers is a somewhat sad and tragic tale. Okay, so do I want to go with this party? I mean, I'm kind of not excited to bring two mages at once. Um, and we know we had to set up an archer, right? So what I could do, uh, this Valkyrie said you may probably want to be good for Asgard. So I could, I could, um, put Janus here. I like my archers at the top, okay? I, I don't know why, I just do. Um, and I could put, uh, Nanami here. And I could have Nanami be... I mean, we have two dungeons we gotta run through, right? Um, and the first dungeon is probably gonna be the, uh, the, uh, the caverns. And the caverns, that was a Nanami story. So, going through... Actually, that was a castle story. So it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, but now we only have two characters to, like, bounce around rather than three. Really hard to, you know, use the equipment to gain items or skills when you have multiple characters. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, divine item and try to outfit my party and all of that um, in between parts. And then we'll pick up tomorrow uh, going to either the Cave of Oblivion. I'll probably save that for last. Yeah, I'll save that for last. So we'll go to the Avar Caverns in Camille and then we'll head to the Clockwork area. Um, we have 12 periods left. So that's going to be six periods. I also want to go to Brahm's Castle, which is another period. Although we can't clear Brahm's Castle. Um, there's a reason for that. Like I said, I'm following a limited guide here that just basically tells you how to get the ending, but nothing else. And we want to go in there and like loot the castle, but not finish the event. And then once we get to like chapter five or six, you know, that's when the branch really happens between ending B and ending C. As far as ending A, I'm not exactly sure how to get that one, or is it ending A is the true end, or is it ending C is right? One of the two, whatever. Uh, the, the one ending that's just basically a game over, I think that's if you get your evaluation like lowered to a point where, you know, you lose, uh, the gods lose faith in you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure all you have to do to get that is just like rest for like entire chapters sort of if you've ever played the atelier games um in a lot of the atelier games there's actually a trophy for basically failing <laughs> I, I think that was in like atelier Ronia, ravona and what you would do is you just basically sleep through the entire you know every time you can do anything you just sleep 
and you wait until the end and then you get game over and then you get you know the, the failure condition but yeah i love you all so very much thank you for everything i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day until next time so long and take care thank you for watching this video feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next i always love to hear your thoughts but before we go please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself never let the world tell you any different much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.